we always put the analytics first. You need to measure, you need to understand what is happening, you need to be able to segment. So that's the advice that I'm giving these companies. You have to think about the analytics up front. If you want to be a data-driven company, make decisions based on data, put the analytics up front. Don't leave it to the end. That was the key, what is probably the key message that I, that I wanted to deliver to the audience. My presentation really was about analytics. It's there every day, everywhere, in everything we do. Telephone calls, videos, you know, Facebook, Twitter. You have heard so many speakers out there. It's all about data. What do you do with all that data? I'm really, really glad that we got the opportunity to be part of this convention and present here. In the Middle East, what we're trying to find and what we're seeing is that uh, customers and organizations want to look at how big data techniques can apply to them. So every use case is different, every scenario that the customer has is different and our role really is to help guide the customer through that minefield and make the most of what's out there to, to give them something new and something different. They have the data, they have fantastic data, they have access to everything but how to manage this data, how to comply with the regulations, this is the question mark. People are coming to us like, how do I do it? So this is, uh, this is the feedback we're getting from clients. Telling them what is the right data to have, to what is the advanced uh, analytics techniques they need to use to get their models right. And we just don't stop there. We go all the way to look at what are the op opportunities available in immersive technologies, be it artificial intelligence, cognitive uh, solutions, and uh, even uh, augmented reality. Develop a roadmap and then embark on that roadmap. Don't make it a technology-driven initiative. That is very, very important. And in general, if your organization is not right or is not prepared to take uh, uh, data-driven decision-making support or approach in the first place, your initiative is most likely to fail. Which is the organization that can't benefit from using all the, you know, leveraging all the value in their data? That applies to oil and gas, that applies to telecommunications, that applies to financial. There's not a single sector that wouldn't benefit of making the most of their data. So pretty much it would be all over the place. I think if I sort of take a look back, I mean, in terms of uh, A, the way the event has been designed, the kind of speakers uh, that were there, stock, uh, presenting today and the lineup tomorrow and also the entire structure and format of the event I think it's fantastic it's really a sunrise sector here and uh, you've got the best of thought leaders from across the world so that's not a mean feat also thank you for letting me engage with all these other thought leaders and having such a fruitful discussion